Today's lesson is grease pencil, a Blender 3D grease pencil, and we're going to talk about layers and some masking. Okay. Um, by default, um, I went with File, New, 2D Animation. If you do that, instead of starting from a blank, you get your uh, layers, uh, you get two layers at least, and you got your colors pre-made for you. So it makes it a little bit faster. All right. So let's talk about layers. Um, uh, you can think of this as stacks. All right. So whatever's on top is what you'll see first. Okay. What's It's the foreground. Whatever's below is the background. And you can sandwich layers in between like what I'm about to do here. I'm going to click plus. Okay. And then there it is. A GP layer. It's the default name. So you have your um up and down positional layer right here so you can while that layer is selected i press down right here it moves it in position okay so then it becomes kind of like a mid ground all right so let's kind of get started with our lesson with uh, uh layering uh including masking it's important that you understand how the layer works first before we can get started with this okay again um this is an animation to the animation program you got your timeline right here which is your horizontal uh, dope sheet very important that if you are not animating and you're just building um, your backgrounds or you know setting up whatever static you park that at one because each time you move that and you draw it's animated it's it skips to that so we'll leave that on frame one okay and then we're gonna uh, start with this one so I'm gonna put one here on lines I'm gonna draw something on lines layer which is the very top one right and I will switch to, um, instead of solid stroke, this gives me, let's say if I'm on uh, uh, ink pen right here, right? And then I'm on solid stroke, which is, this color is just black based on our shader right here, okay? Uh, the stroke one is actually the uh, that's uh, enabled, fill is not, all right? So if I just throw my strokes, that's what it is, right? However, if I switch to, uh, Instead of solid stroke, I'm going to go with a fill, meaning I'm using this um, color instead. And this one is for filling, uh, but I'm using a pen. So I'm not actually using the paint bucket to fill in a close outline. I'm using it kind of like so. Whatever close outline I make, I get kind of like a filled in uh, shape. Okay. So if I have, let's say, you know, I'm just going to make some random kind of shapes right here just so that you could see kind of like the difference so if you as long as you can cross back all right you should be able to create some shapes uh, however we'll get uh, an issue such as let's say if we wanted to just do a the letter a right there then the masking is involved okay so, uh, looking back at our layer, I created all this on uh, lines, and then you could see the uh, what's happening in here. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, masking. All right, so let's say um, I wanted to create a hole for the O right here, or this circle. Okay, uh, in a way you can kind of do that. You can just go on top and then um, kind of like this. If I have this layer, all right, and I move it on top. All right, and then I change the uh, solid fill, which I can't because it will affect everything in here, right? So whatever changes you make to this gray color, it will change on everything. I'll show you right here. There it is. Okay, so you can um, quickly just use vertex color, and if you want to learn how, you want to know how to do that, we do have that in the channel. Uh, navigate through the channel and you'll find uh, how to use vertex color but it's quite simple I can just click here all right and then I can just select a color so in this case let's say we wanted a white background I'll just use a white color right there and then since I'm using a solid fill with using a vertex white color I can just create that then there it is problem now is what if we want this as a transparent background render okay uh, let me just do a quick render right here so if I go render render image there it is let's say we don't want any transparent background that's all you have to do is get another color and just draw on top of it okay super easy right what if you want transparent background 
okay like you want to superimpose your title or whatever it is you drew on top of an image so let me just click transparent there real quick all i did is i went to the um, to the engine tab scroll all the way down to film and put a check mark on transparent and let's do the same thing render image there it is transparent background but there's that issue right there the o yeah since we only cheated put it white color then that's an issue right there right so let me click and do uh on the uh drawing of the o okay and let's kind of fix this properly using layers all right so i'm gonna go back to layer right here all right so let me make sure which one is which okay so lines is where i drew all that stuff all right so let's say on um, gp layer right here i wanted to create that uh, shape whether it's the same color or not um, it doesn't really matter right so what i'll do is i'll, I'll draw it again okay but this time i wanted because let's say we're going for transparent background here right so i wanted that white circle to be a mask so it'll be cut off right so what i'll do here is i'll go to lines this is where the gray part is remember that one right there and then i will enable mask so to enable mask you can just click this button right here or put a check mark down here okay so we want to use a mask for this layer right here. So I'm going to open it up. It's going to ask, hey, which layer do you want to use as a mask? Remember, on GP layer, that's where we added that white circle right there. And it doesn't matter what color it is. All right. So on mask, we wanted to add a plus. Okay. It's going to ask, hey, which layer do you want to use as a mask? We're going to use GP layer. There it is nothing happens well something happened but it, it's just using it the entire thing all right as a mask right here so we have to invert the mask right here okay so just click the invert button and this is kind of like a universal button you can go to davinci resolve color you'll see that exact same thing all right and then you really can't see it yet because uh, we haven't done the opacity yet so all we have to do then is sorry go to that layer okay and then lower the opacity and that should be transparent okay so let's take a look transparent is on so if we go with render image there you go so it is now transparent so it is actually cut okay hard to see because we are not um, using a different color here I have to render just to show you that so let's go to our background color okay let's just change that a little bit okay and there it is right there so it's showing us green right so you could actually see it so if we actually go to our layer put this back the opacity it's white right there so that's how masking works okay so let's do another example kind of simplify it and then um, i'll go with the lines here again okay uh, let's delete this for now uh, the mask for this one okay i'm going to put a minus right there turn off mask okay let's do another shape so I'm going to go with my solid fill, right? So I'm going to go and uh, make, uh, go back to shader, not vertex color. There it is. Okay. And then on GP layer, all right, uh, to make it obvious, okay, we'll go with white color right here. So I'm going to go create multiple shapes on top. Okay. So let's say we're making a Swiss cheese potato all right there it is so now i want all these white shapes to be a cutout um, cookie cutters and then i'll have my gray potato all riddled with holes right so i'll go to my lines all right i'm in lines layer i'm going to turn on mask so this button right here i'll put a check mark over there i'm going to click the plus sign i want to use a layer for my masking so I'm going to click the plus sign and what we're using where I drew all this white um, uh, circles is the GP layer there it is so when that happens it masks it and then you have to invert it okay so it kind of masks that one the opposite way so I'm going to invert it okay I got it inverted and then we just have to go to the GP layer which is kind of reserved as a cookie cutter 
turn down the opacity and that's how you get your masking all right so now this is mask and um let's do one more so i mean it's already set so whatever i draw on gp layer right now whether you see it or not becomes a mask so all right so here uh i got a white one or so if i draw kind of like a triangle right here for my a i get it right there so let's say here i wanted to create kind of like an outline for my um uh, arrow all right so once i close that uh, outline right there there it is okay or um let's say on uh, lines right here i go back to my solid field and then let's say i added this to my um z right here at the top just so that we have that option and i go back to my gp layer which is my masking one i'm going to switch back to white one then i can do whatever i go in here this all becomes all right whether i added to it it just mask on top so basically i'm drawing on top of it but it's a cookie cutter because we made it that this layer right here will use gp layer as its mask we inverted it and whatever's on top you get to use that and you can have multiple layers as a mask so let's say for fills right here okay so if i use fill so i can add it right fills right there invert it again all right and then if i go to fills layer let's say you know just for the sake of uh, you know probing a point you don't have to keep using white you know because it doesn't matter it'll disappear i'm going to use fuchsia right here or uh, pink okay then i can go like so and as soon as i lower the opacity on that it is also another cutter okay so that's one way you can kind of get some shape or do some cleanup also okay because sometimes you would do strokes that go over um, and you don't want to necessarily uh, just kind of delete them you just want to clean them you know you can go to um let's see here all right and sometimes you kind of go over like that and then you you know you can cut those and whatnot but sometimes you just want a shape that you can just quickly grab them and then get rid of them instead of cutting them one at a time what if you have a lot of those and whatnot and then you just want to you can go to fills right here all right and then we go to our solid fill and it's a mask and then you can just kind of create that mask right there and you can quickly delete them with just uh, with just a um, a shape okay as opposed to let's say you're clicking them with your cutter one at a time all right so that's our masking lesson and in a way a little bit of layer lesson